Hey everyone, this is Jamal Jared aka Robuscus, and welcome back to another Let's Watch of Death Battle. Today's episode is a very special one. I am very excited for this one. We've got the Joker vs. Sweet Tooth. And oh my gosh, this is going to be fun and brutal and, and amazingly well animated and have amazing voice actors and probably my preferred character winning. Yeah, watch the analysis. They are including the Joker Mobile and they are including the Sweet Tooth and the Sweet Bot. So you know what my verdict is. Sweet Tooth is going to win this fight. I feel completely confident in that. That being said, if he does lose, they need a pretty good reason for it. I, I just don't see how Joker can win with, with, the, with the vehicles included. If Sweet Tooth somehow gets out of the truck and the mech, He's going to lose, but I just don't see how Joker's going to be able to convince him to do that. So, I don't know. And I really hope Sweet Tooth wins because, as I said many, many, many times in the past, I hate Joker. I really do. He is a one... He, and I know I'm not the only one who thinks that. Max if you Trades thinks that. Some people on the Death Battle Wiki thinks that. It's just... Joker's not that great of a character. I get why some people think... I get why some people like him, and I get why he's so popular. It's just, he's not that cool to me. So I'm... And I don't care for him at all, in the absolute freaking slightest. So I want him to lose. And since they're including the vehicles, I feel pretty confident in him losing. So, let's get started. Alright, let's do this. Go, Sweet Tooth. And again, I do know who's next. Love that voice actor. Uh, shout out to, uh, what was it, Lucas Schooneman. There's the Joker mobile. That is designed, that is designed in shape, exactly like the Batmobile. Shout out to Gianni Matragrano also for the voice of Sweet Tooth. <laughs> oh, Joker, you screwed up. Kick his butt, Sweet Tooth. Boy! Okay. <laughs> hmm, what's this one do? <laughs> oh, boost. This isn't a death race. Well, it might be. Oh, DB, a oh, DB hits truck. <laughs> That's funny. Hit him. Yeah. Whoa. That was a laugh. I don't know if that was a lag or what. Really? Yes, really. Sweet Tooth, you better not get out. Alright, good. You're not getting out. It's crying. Joker doesn't think he's gonna run him over. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you. Joker really, um, oh no. Sweet Tooth would be perfectly okay with that. Joker's out. Oh. 
Now you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> oh. Joker, just die. No. No. It can't work. No, no. Are you kidding me? No! Both clowns were skilled in combat, but Joker's superior tactics and unpredictable weaponry gave him the leg up he needed. When you have a toxic gas so deadly it can take out the entire Justice League, all the Joker needed was one opportunity to use it. And despite his lengthy frame, the Joker can take a lot of punishment. And he's good enough to survive hand to hand combat with Batman. Hell, he's smart enough to trick Batman and even manipulate the incorruptible Superman into being pawns in his schemes. As opposed to needles, whose mental capacity is limited to just one thing. Murder, murder, and more murder with a dash of ice cream. The Joker has plenty That just helps him out, though. ...in the minds of homicidal maniacs. In fact, many people like needles have wound up in Joker's game. It was only a matter of time before he made his opportunity to use the Joker bed. Joker wasn't clowning around in this gas of a fight that had us on pins. And needles. We should really put you on a litter. Oh, come on, Wiz. Those puns were sweet. The winner is the Joker. <sighs> well, that was fun. Who's the Chinese? I just don't know how to think about next that. Time on death battle. But next time. Oh, yes. And we succeeded. Mewtwo! <laughs> Please don't lose Mewtwo. <laughs> Not up against whoever you're going up against. Hey guys. Death battle is Mewtwo. Who will you be fighting? You guys know the drill by now. Find out early by sticking to our social media. That's asked. If you know the, if we know the drill so much, why continue to do it? Although, to be fair, um, Mewtwo is another example of characters that get mysterious combatants that work. Joker was the only other one this season, so. <sighs> well, there goes my streak. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. I just don't see how Sweet Tooth can be manipulated that easily. I mean, sure, he's been manipulated by Calypso, but he's a psychic.
I don't know. I guess that goes into the questionable category. No, I don't disagree. Don't disagree with it. It's just questionable stuff. I don't, I don't know. Well, it was still a good fight. Um, I don't know where to place that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I I'm I'm even debating on whether or not to put. Bowser versus Ganon. Um, above it. Either way, next time is gonna be fun. We got Mewtwo, and I really, 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 really hope he wins. Because I love Mewtwo. Mewtwo is my second favorite Pokemon. Um, uh, second to only Pikachu, who also entered a death battle and lost, and that made me very disappointed and very, 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 very salty. Hey, maybe that's another debunk for, for you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. It wasn't a bad fight, just... I don't know. It wasn't Torian's best animation. Um, but it was a little shorter than I would have expected. And it was a lot less bloody. Um, a lot of people said that... I've I've read a lot of, like, non-spoil... Like, some spoiler-free reviews on the fight and they said that the death was way too creepy to it was creepy enough to fit the whole style of you know, murderous clowns and I'm just I just don't agree that wasn't creepy at all I'm honestly I honestly don't know how Joker Venom would work Sweet Tooth is just so mentally he's just that mentally insane that it just he just ignores it all to be fair, so does Joker. Um, I don't know. All all the sweep bot really needed to do. He didn't need to swat Joker away. He needed to smash him, like step on him. Done. Machine machine guns. Like you could shoot him. You could punch. You could. Punch him down into the ground. You could step on him. I don't know. It just seemed like there was more that Sweet Tooth could do that would easily get rid of the Joker. That was quite a letdown. Still good. Um, jokes are funny. Then again, it is the Joker. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, they were good. The animation was good. Not Torian. Again, not Torian's best, but it was up there. Um... Yeah, I guess that's really all I have to say. Uh, so, see you guys in the next one where I do the Let's Watch of um, Mewtwo's preview. I'm not <coughs> sorry. I'm not doing the um, like predicting who character is going to fight thing because sometimes it's just way too obvious. Um, I haven't done it since like I haven't done it since I since after I did a uh, Bowser. So. I didn't do Ratchet and Clank because A, it was way too obvious, and B, uh, it was. I was on vacation. Um. I guess I could have done it. Um. I don't know. Um. Um. I didn't do one for Flash because, well, time crap, and, um. It, sometimes it was just. Everyone has said it's so obvious that it's Quicksilver. They didn't need to do that. So, Joker worked. So I guess I could have done it for. I'll, I'm gonna do one for combatants that get mysterious combatants, and they and, and it's okay. Like some people are saying, like, oh, it's obviously gonna be this character and that character Shadow, and I need to hurry. Um, uh, yeah, people are saying that Mewtwo's gonna fight Shadow, and I just don't see it. Um, if he does. If he does fight Shadow, that would, that would be pretty interesting. I hope he fights Black or Greymon from Digimon. Um, I have a feeling he's probably going to fight Silver, which I'm totally fine with. Um, but anyways, yeah. I guess thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.